Pakistan. I, I think Pakistan is everything that gives you an international migraine. I mean, it has uh, nuclear weapons, terrorists, corruption, a weak government, and is in a terrible location. And I think problems of Americans, I mentioned this earlier, not being able to even deliver American aid to the refugees because Americans are not viewed well in that area. And I think we have to spend an awful lot more time even on Pakistan. But do you have some encouragement because the Pakistani army is now going into areas that More. It is yeah. better. First time. I, first but time. I think what is Juan worrisome Valley. is that the Taliban, instead of capturing them, they're scattering. And I think that we can't, um, or the, the Al-Qaeda groups in yeah. uh, the Fatah area. And that is worrisome because they are, we don't know where they're going exactly, but it is encouraging, I think, that the Pakistani army has shifted somewhat instead of being concerned about India to be concerned about You know, area. the administration has asked for some economic assistance for Pakistan, and now it's all wrapped around the axle up on the hill with conditions and caveats and conditionality. That's ridiculous. We ought to get that economic aid over there. And we ought to all support the administration in getting our congressmen and senators to vote for that expeditiously. It's crazy. Well, who do you have in mind that's blocking it? I don't know the names of the people. <laughs> I'm a private citizen. I don't know who they are. What party are they in? <laughs> um. Well, they're in both parties. <laughs> uh, the president, anything you want to add to Afghanistan and Pakistan, and, right, and whether you are encouraged by the Pakistanis and, and whether you can get the aid there quick enough uh, to get them to do more and to get them less worried about Kashmir and the border over there where the, too much of their army is. I think we are encouraged for two reasons. One, I think for the first time the Pakistanis are beginning to realize that the, the, the real existential threat to them is not from other countries and particularly not from India. It's from these radicals, these extremists who, and they've seen this in, in recent weeks where they're attacking in Islamabad, they're attacking the, uh, the military headquarters, they are attacking the institutions of the state. And so they've now begun to realize that even though they had a past association with a lot of these groups, that they, they're no longer able to control them. So that's important. But the second thing that's important, Charlie, is that we're seeing the civilian political leadership come together. That we're seeing that even where their opposition with, with the former Prime Minister Sharif and uh, uh, President Zadari coming together to work on these problems, to have a shared support for this, because you're going to have to pull together all of Pakistani society, civilian and military, to take this challenge on.